afternoon, everybody. In this occasion, I'm going to talk about the two economic models in Colombia. The name of the next presentation is from the industrialization model by import substitution, easy, do the open model adopted in Colombia since 1991. Okay, the topics for this presentation are abstract, introduction, conceptualization, impact, and conclusion. This paper, 625 we Colombian industry was lagging at the time of its economic opening, as well as 25 the cause of failure of the import substitution industrialization is model. Do this end two economics models seeking industrialization in Colombia are present day and contrasted. The impact of the post 1000 991 aperturist economic open model is examined through several indicators to elucidate the cause of the failure of the easy model. This presentation is mainly inspired by the publication of Mr. Sarango, Bertola, and Ocampo. I'm going to explain the introduction. The model discussed in this work has affected the development of the Colombian economy. The industrialization model by import substitution easy, which was enforced from the end of the 19th century through uh, 1991, facilitated the economy's biggest boom for the three decades on the remantle of the Zeppelin structure. Later, the opening model created a large change in trade balance and productivity and also increased the number of billionaires in the country. The opening model promoted by the government of Cesar Gaviria until now was. For the harm, the main objective of this work is to address the question why Colombian industry was lagging behind at the time of the economic opening, and what caused the fall of the easy model. Do dying and in order to familiarize the listener with the Colombian economic model of the last century, an overview of the easy and apertures models are present day. Second, the implementation and impact of this model on the economy of Colombia are then analyzed. Finally, the conclusion. The next topic is conceptualization, and the next slide is figure one. The evolution of the easy model is outlined, including the main variables implemented in the five phases of its application from the end of the 9th century through 1991. These phases are 1. State intervention, 2. Police approach to maintain international reserve. 3. Creation of the Economic Commission Lati for Latin America and the Caribbean, ECLAC, which implemented the protectionist and interventionist role of the state. 4. The consequence of an inferior domestic industry relative do to the other countries, which suggested the need for change. And 5. Transition to an open economy, the apertureist model. However, the charities of the opportunities model are an international regime, growth and productivity, monetary regime, the regulation and capital to world relations. The work of Torres to elucidate the difference between these two models is described in Table 1. Once the function of, of each of the models has been described, the radical opposition between the two is, is evident. Notable, the protectionist level of the state at the level of import and mandate in both. But unemployment and productivity in the cases I provide to help the listener understand the failure of the easy model. The last slide for this topic is this. Um, the indicators shows that during the years the Colombian economy was guided by the easy model, the unemployment rate was quite high. This, no doubt, was one of the reasons why the model was on the verge of a big decline. The rate of productivity growth also showed the immense disadvantage of the model, which even after the economic opening have not changed. In 2018, the unemployment rate was 9.5% and the growth rate 2.5%. 
This combination shows that the economy exceeded the negative growth present in the period um, 1980 on 1990, but has no recovery in terms of unemployment. The first slide in the topic application and impact of these models in Colombia, I will show this figure, figure two. And I think that during the government of Cesar Gaviria, industrial export from Colombia declining from 61.7% to 43%. After 20 years of the Aperturist model, meaning exports carbon, petroleum, derivatives, iron, nickel, and gold have grown very little, from 15% percent in 1994 to 16.7 percent in 2014. In addition, according to World Bank data, since Colombia's economic opening, its GDP has increasing, increased from 50 billion to 350 billion. This shows that total production has increased substantially with neoliberalism. Even though in 2014 it fell along with the downturn of oil prices. The conclusions in this presentation or this work are. This work presents the historical economic thinking behind the easy and aperturist models. It is emphasized that the models adopted by Colombia in both the protectionist and neoliberal eras have had different effects. The former supported domestic industrial throats, subsidies, and increased tariffs, while the second prioritized the importation of capital goods and state-of-the-art technology. The recommendation is the national government should focus on the production and export of consumer goods. Okay, in the other hand, with the arrival of the model of the Aperturist model in Colombia in 1991, the number of billionaires in the country increased, in according with the Vega, as well as the number of middle-class families. In 1984, most of the population of Colombia was low income, with about 10% middle class. But as the Aperturist model was adopted, the country escaped the poverty and substantially decreased the average income. Thus, in 2016, 26% of the country were classified as middle-income families. At the time of writing, in 2019, the Colombia's median high income has been stagnant for the last five years, following substantial progress in the previous three decades.